look left now look right this is mumbai's skyscraper street but the one that is a landmark is this one lodha world towers there has been a lot of hype around this mega structure i decided to finally see what the entire fuss was all about like in many other mega structures in mumbai it was built on land that was earlier a cotton mill lodha group would buy the 17 acre land parcel and then embark on the most ambitious project it has ever taken up this is the tallest residential building of india but the plan a decade ago was even bigger to become the tallest residential building in the world that was when the plan was to make 117 floors unfortunately for the developer that plan didn't materialize due to restrictions imposed on the height of the building today it is amongst the top 30 tallest residential buildings in the world and is only one third the tallest building on the planet there are three towers in the project two of them are 76 floors and one is 60 in such tall buildings my first checkpoint is not the apartment or amenities it is something else in india's tallest residential building but how fast is the lift in the building let's find out pretty fast i can feel some degree of impact in my ears with the speed at the uh, at which the lift is going 1 minute in 1 minute we have covered 76 floors or in india's tallest building on reaching the top floor i take a look at some of the apartments the apartments have large decks the views of the city are stunning stunning enough to make me do something i normally avoid i don't normally take tea but i'll make an exception with the views like this the apartments in itself are spacious while the views are stunning so is the ambition in showcasing luxury from the valet at the entrance to the lobby to the amenities the vision of the building is clear it wants to be noticed nowhere is that most visible than in the opulent home done by designers abu jani and sandeep khosla the apartment glitters there's no pretense about this building it's aiming to dazzle and it succeeds there is a wide list of amenities in the project i try my hand at some of them but i have one favorite the pool no the gym no tennis no jogging no table tennis no pool no badminton no rock climbing yes all of this doesn't come cheap it's expensive to buy and starts at northwards of 7 crore rupees for the smallest apartment it's even expensive to maintain the luxuries and wide list of amenities result in a maintenance bill that starts at close to 50000 rupees per month it's one of the reasons why this large project of almost 900 apartments has not been a complete sell out almost a decade after launch almost 25% of the project yet remains unsold that's primarily due to the vast supply in the location as a rush of new projects created intense competition some home buyers like the project but have been unenthused by the layouts of the apartment several of them have been put off by the nightmarish congestion that now prevails in the neighborhood this project has not even been lucrative for its ambitious promoter Abhishek Lodha bravely confessed in a speech saying that had he ever done a deep analysis in the costing required to complete the project he would have never started 
I look back at the world arts today and I, I say this, you know, we've invested 5,000 crores into one site. It's never going to get built again in Bombay. At least for another two decades, nobody's going to invest in it. But it was just foolishness in some sense, right? That's a different story and it's great, it's beautiful, people love it. All of, all of those things are great. But the fact of the matter is that if I uh, uh, look at it from an economic perspective, if I had ever done the actual cost to complete, I would have never started. Lodha World Towers, Indian real estate's boldest project in decades. It's a dazzling trio of skyscrapers, but not a commercial superstar. Yet, it deserves to be celebrated. Mm.